So can you say what light you think your study sheds on Bourdieu's claim that schools treat social gifts as natural gifts? Um, so I think that uh, I'm really... Uh, part of what I do is really an application of Bourdieu. And um, so there's a lot of discussion of Bourdieu, particularly in the American context, of whether or not he's just too French. And as the arguments that he makes are very specific to the French context, but if you, they don't travel very well. And I think that a lot of what I do is a way to show that the ideas do travel really well. Um, but at the same time, uh, I try to show that uh, some of the ideas need to be amended uh, in different contexts. So it's not a pure application of this idea of Bourdieu. And the way in which I do that is really in the first chapter. The Chase Abbott, who begins the book, um, is, and Evan Williams, who's later on in the book, is for me, the reason I begin the book with him, the classic Bourdieuian character. He is the person in the book who should be the most successful if Bourdieu is right. Um, that is, he's the person who spent the most amount of time in these institutions, who has family associated with these institutions, who, you know, kind of purely embodies the institutional logic. And yet, the first thing we learn is that Chase Abbott kind of fails. And that's done quite intentionally. So the setup is sort of to begin you with this guy who should be really successful if we were to listen to Bourdieu and isn't quite successful. And then to use Bourdieu to sort of explain why the classic Bourdieuian case doesn't really apply in the American context and to think of it uh, in a sort of different way. And so to use Bourdieu to think about the juxtaposition between the language of meritocracy, the rhetoric that's deployed of meritocracy among the students, and the ease of privilege, so the embodied disposition of privilege. And here the juxtaposition between the rhetoric and the embodied is really important for me. And I think that's something that I add a little bit beyond the Bourdieu, because, I mean, one other challenge I would put to Bourdieu is that a lot of his research is based upon surveys, um, uh, not a lot of direct observation, particularly of these kinds of dynamics. And so for me, it's a, it's a, it's a drive to think about if we do direct observations of these institutions, what do we see?